All right. Now we are going to be creating a new page in our WordPress content management system. All right, so let's get over to our page now and then um, we can then get to our pages. Now, when you get to your dashboard as an admin, all right, get to pages, then you can click on add new page trait. All right. Now, when you get to the add new page, you give it a title of that page. Let's take, for example, that um, you want to um, create a landing page for a product, a digital product in this case. Now, let's say the digital product is as we are selling a course on data analysis. And then um, I would like to give it a name such as become a pro in data analysis. All right, become a pro in data analysis to land a new job. All right, so you can give it any name of your choice. And um, when you've done that, click on um, publish for now. Just click on publish to create just a simple page. Now, this is how you can create a page on WordPress. Now, when you, when you are done, you can visit this link. That I've created to show you your page. But launching this page this way is not very presentable, all right? It is not design friendly, okay? Now, after we installed Elementor plugin, we have this feature that's activated here. By the right hand side, we can see the option that says um, template, okay? Now we are going to be choosing the Elementor Canvas template. Right, we have option here for full width. We have option for canvas. So to create a landing page or a sales page, normally you have to go with this Elementor Canvas option. Now click on that option and then click on update. Any change or changes that you make to your page, already created page, you have to update that page to reflect on the front end. Now if you refresh this page, um, you notice that we do not have anything. The page is now blank, right? So this is the difference between using the default template or using any other template format here, either Elementor full width. Now, if you choose Elementor full width and click on update, and then if we get to refresh the front page, you notice that we still have our header and then we have the footer right here. So, Let's change it back to Elementor Canvas. Please make sure you choose the Elementor Canvas option. That is the template you will be using to create any of your landing pages because you won't just want your landing or sales page to contain all this menu here. You just want to sell a product, okay, without letting the customer, you know, to navigate around other options or features of your website. So now if you refresh this page, we have a blank interface, okay? You now have a blank interface here. So what you are going to do now is, um, you now have to right click on this option. You can duplicate this page, but we are going to be editing this page with Elementor. So what you have to do, just click on Edit with Elementor. Now immediately you do that, a next page is going to come up, which is going to allow you to use the inbuilt features of this WordPress plugin called Elementor Page Builder to build any landing pages of your choice. Now, in our next lesson, we are going to see how to start using the Elementor Page Builder to build beautiful, you know, pages or landing pages on our platform.